Hello and assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Muhammad Ali and today we are going to be answering a question from Sajir12. He says, help, I can't find the answer anywhere. I have a workbook I created where each sheet is different in my workbook. And in my VBA user form, I have three down three drop downs basically what he wants to say and you can look what he's saying you can pause the video but basically what he is saying that he wants something like this so if he selects Excel he gets the courses for and uh, the drop down for Excel if he selects web designing he gets the drop down for web designing and if he selects from here HTML for example he gets the more breakdown part of that so he needs basic syntax and stuff like that. I'm gonna create an other user form. We're gonna say user form name this guy question two. Okay, and now I need three combo boxes. Now what I want to do is name name them. For example, I'm gonna say main topic, like subtopic, and I'm gonna say last topic. Now what you need to do is uh, come in here and name your range, this range of yours. Go to formulas and name ranges. I have it named by name of courses. So it's named as courses. Okay, I named it as courses and that's all. Okay, one is on courses. That's the main. Now I named this one as Excel. So if there is Excel, this is the one. Okay. Now I named the other one as web designing. So if I go to web designing, I get this. Of course, you need it to be dynamic. It's a better. Okay. And in here, it's access. I named it as access. Now if I go to the third sheet, that the, mm, the last topic should be, or the last thing, we have Excel formula, uh, Excel basics. So we're gonna say Excel basics. For search this, it's Excel basics. And similarly, I have named everything in here, so I don't have problem with. So I have three: the first drop down, the second drop down, and the last drop down. Okay, because he wants in here, he says that he can do two drop downs, but I can't to seem uh, I can't seem to find the proper code for the third drop down to show the grade of the selected student in the curriculum. Okay, so. Let's see what can we do. I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna say, so go in here and give them row source. Row source is so after the first should contain my courses. I'm gonna say courses, and that's all because if I now click here, I get my courses. Okay, so the source of row source is courses because uh, basically I'm saying that I want mm, this named range to be here. I should add a CB so I can say that this is a combo box. This is also a combo box. And this is also a combo box because it's going to create a problem for you. Okay. I'm going to say that uh, select case and CB main topic. And I'm going to say and select. Again, here I'm going to say in case the value I selected is Excel and I want CB subtopic to have row source Excel. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to run this guy and I'm going to see if I select Excel, I get Excel. Okay, so I'm going to copy this guy in here. I copy this guy, sorry. So I'm going to go in here and end in here. Okay, I'm gonna say if I have uh, if the topic is then I want the raw source to be equal to and lastly if I have the topic to be access I want this to be equal to access okay I'm gonna save this I'm gonna say okay turn this on if I go to access I want the access the job uh, named ranges these range ranges so I uh, if I select access Okay, in here, I'm going to get these drop downs. Basically, this is the... Now, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to copy this guy because I think I'll need it. Okay. Of course, I need it. Now, I'm going to say if my... Now, I'm going to concentrate on my CB subtopic. Okay. 
I'm gonna say if my subtopic equals uh, Excel basics. Now I want my CB last topic topic to have. So if it's Excel advanced, Excel advanced. So I want to say Excel advanced. And lastly, I'm gonna go in here and say Excel VBA. For now, let's check these. Okay, so I, I select Excel and I go to Excel Basics. If I go to Excel Basics, I should get, but I'm not getting them. The f the um, the reason should be the naming name. Okay, uh, of course this is Excel VBA, so I'm gonna say. Excel VBA. Okay. Here. If I go to Excel and Excel Basics, I got to get the drop downs of Excel. Okay. Now, well, if I continue, it's going to be the same, doing the same process again and again. Well, I showed you basically how you can do it and. Uh, Okay, uh, Sitcher12, I hope I answered your question. Sorry for being late. Um, so I'm really sorry because I'm really uh, busy, kind of busy and I couldn't answer your question. Perf uh, couldn't I answer your question when you asked, but I knew that you asked the question and I just didn't have the time to reply to you. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching and bye-bye. See you later. Okay.